This is the second half of the trigonometry chapter. It's all to do with trigonometric identities. So moving on from uh, just looking at trig functions on their own, we're looking to see how the different trig um, functions that we've got interact with each other. I'm going to get some nice identities that link them together. So I want to draw your attention back to the unit circle construction that we started off with. Um, here it is, unit circle. And if you remember, we start over here at 1, 0. And then we uh, rotate around an angle of uh, theta around this way, anti-clockwise. And then wherever that angle stops, we define uh, sine and cos as the y and x coordinates, respectively. So this coordinate up here that I'm on the circle with. So um, the x coordinate of my uh, point up here is cos of theta, which I'm just going to put down here on this blue leg. And the y coordinate is the height, so sine theta, which is this opposite leg over here. So you might want to think of your coordinate on the circle as cos theta, sine theta. Okay, so let's look at this picture. Is there anything that we can say that links uh, sine with cos in any meaningful way? Well, um, let's just put the one on the hypotenuse for now because we know that's the radius. We can actually get two identities out of this picture. Um, one of them is uh, one that we've already seen. So if I was to look at what tan theta is going to be, then by the definition of tan, we know that it's opposite over adjacent. So by definition, tan theta turns out to be sine theta divided by cos theta. So that's one identity that links all three of the trig functions that we know together. Okay, all right, secondly, what else can we see in this picture? Well, I've got a right angled triangle wherever I put this coordinate. There's the right angle there. And what do we know about the sides of a right angled triangle? Well, Pythagoras. So the second identity that we're going to be using is the one that links the three sides with Pythagoras. So that's the same as sine theta squared. I'm going to talk about notation in a second. Sine theta squared plus cos theta squared is 1 squared, which is 1. So that's the second identity that we're going to be using. Okay, so notice the notation that I've used. When we want to square a trig value, uh, we tend to not put the square at the end uh, because it looks as if we're squaring the argument, the angle that's inside. So we put the two in the middle just to say that it's sine theta all squared. So you have to read it like this. And because of where the two is, we're going to say it as sine squared theta rather than sine theta squared. And this one's going to be cos squared theta as well. 